Hello my gorgeous cuties out there and welcome. In today's video, I am going to talk about my Sephora recommendations for the sale that they have going on. Now I'm a little late because it started yesterday, but I thought I would still film this in case you're curious on what I would recommend. And I thought I'd also share with you guys what I plan to pick up from the sale. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I'm just a crazy lover of all things beauty. And I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content. So if those are things you like to watch, Please hit that subscribe button. But with that being said, let's get into this video. All right, my love bugs, welcome. I hope you guys are all doing well. It is a beautiful, springy, sunny, breezy kind of day. So I cannot wait to go out and about. And I'll probably even go into Savora and check out some of the items for the sale, but I did put on my little springy dress. This is from Shein. I got my little flower earrings on and I have this fun, bold, but springy kind of makeup. I did film this look for Instagram. It's already up there if you wanna check it out. I use the Give Me Glow Pastel Dream Palette and the Bad Witch Club Palette. Those two make a perfect combo and I'm just really happy with how this look turned out. So in case you're curious in how I did this. So let's get into the sell info. So Sephora does this sell a few times a year and it's for their Beauty Insider members. So basically you just have to sign up for an account, it's totally free and you get like points for your purchases and like perks like that and the more you spend, the higher your tier becomes. So the sell starts April 1st, which was yesterday for their Rouge members. So those who spend the most, I think you have to reach a certain dollar amount and you get 20% off and you get to shop the sell first. So from April 1st to the 4th, it's just Rouge members shopping the sale with 20% off. And then on April 5th, it starts for their middle tier members and that is the VIB members and you'll get 15% off and be able to shop the sell till the end. And then on April 7th, it starts for base members, beauty insiders, and you'll get 10% off. And the sell ends on April 11th for everyone. So of course I am a Rouge member. I'm not necessarily proud of that. That just tells you I spend way too much on makeup and beauty products. So I will show you guys what I picked up because I already made a purchase, but please do not feel the obligation to shop the sales just because there's a discount. Doesn't mean you have to shop and I try to keep my purchases lower this year because normally I just overdo it with the spending like I feel this need to because there's a discount but honestly the discount is not that great necessarily it's not like the biggest discount it's great for things that like never go on sale which is usually what I try to pick up but a lot of the brands websites will do better discounts so before you purchase anything during the sale on Sephora check the site of the brand that you're looking to buy products from because sometimes they have a better discount going on so always check that so you can get the most you know savings and all that but don't feel like you have to because there's a sale so I just want to put that out there but I did want to give some recommendations if you were planning to shop it and you already know you're gonna make some purchases and you're trying to find some good purchases to make in certain categories I thought I would just share the things that I love now of course these are like based on my preferences but I tried to include makeup that I felt like will work on like various skin tones and various skin types so hopefully Hopefully I did a pretty good job at accomplishing that, but let's just get into my recommendations. I do have mostly makeup products and a few just like beauty products. I'll show you guys those ones first. Now I feel like the best thing to pick up during the sale is fragrances and like perfumes because it's very rare that perfumes used to go on sale, especially the more popular brands. So I think this is a great opportunity if there was like a perfume you're eyeing out, especially from like brands like Jo Malone. Like Jo Malone never has a sale on their website. So usually I end up picking up a Jo Malone one, but I picked up a different perfume this time. But I will show you guys that soon. So the two I wanted to recommend is the Way Perfume. This is Dean Street. I'm sure I've talked about both of these perfumes. But this one is for the lovers of fresh floral and fruity scents. It's very bright. It's super springy. It's also really good for the summertime. I want to give you guys like the notes and all that. So this is in the fresh family. The scent type is fruity floral and it says the key notes is mandarin, lemon, and grapefruit. So like I said, it's very citrusy. The fragrance has top notes of mandarin, lemon, grapefruit, and apricot along with metal notes of rose, magnolia, is it muget? 
I don't know how to say that word, and violet. So like I said, it has a combination of florals and citrus, and it's just so bright and fresh, and it makes me think of a spring day. Like if you're walking around and there's like flowers blooming and you can smell them and you're about to go to brunch. I mean, it gives me all those vibes. So if you like scents like that, I think this is beautiful. It goes for $60. You can get 20% off. So it's not a overly expensive fragrance. The next perfumes that I wanted to recommend, I was only going to do two, but I decided to include another one. It's from Joe Malone. So these actually pair really nicely together and they're very different from the Way perfume that I just recommended. So the first one is the Blackberry and Bay. I'll show you guys up close, but they're both like pretty standard, like packaging from Joe Malone. But this one is also fresh and in that citrus and fruity scent, but it's totally different. It is very fresh, kind of tarty. It has a little bit of like greenery in the scent, like the smell of like leaves. And like if you were like in a forest with some like blackberries with you, Oh God, it's so good. But the keynotes in this one is blackberry, bay leaves, and cedar wood. God, this smells so good. And it has a little bit of that tartness to it. And then the other one is the Jo Malone Fig and Lotus Flower. So this is in the floral family and it's warm floral. So I can smell the warmth to this. And this one is so fresh as well and juicy. But this is fig leaf, lotus flower, and vetiver. Oh yeah, so there's warmth, but there's freshness. You can smell like the floral, the little bit of fig in here. This one is also really pretty. So these are all kind of like floral scents, which I think are perfect for the like spring and summertime. And then the next thing that I wanted to recommend is a hair care product. This is from Brigio. I didn't actually bring it out from my shower because I was too lazy to pull it over here, but I'll show you guys a picture of it. It is the Superfoods Mango Cherry Balancing Shampoo Conditioner Duo for Oil Control. So I have an oily scalp and I look for anything that will help my scalp not be oily, but still moisturize like my hair because my ends get dry. And I feel like this, it does a great job. So it is lightweight, it's not heavy, but it still gives the hair hydration. Now, if you have very dry hair, I'm not sure if this necessarily would be great for you, but if you suffer from an oily scalp, but you still want your hair to feel moisturized and have that shine even, though it's like helping to reduce the oils in the hair, then this is a very good option. It smells really nice and I just really love Brigio. I feel like I always recommend that brand. They have great hair care products and everything that I've tried has been really good. But I did want to do an honorable mention. I don't have this product anymore, but I loved it and used it up. This is the Brigio Super Foods Banana and Coconut Nourishing Shampoo. So this is great for like really hydrating the hair. Now it does have a very banana candy scent, so you have to like this. But if you're on like the dry hair spectrum, I think this is really good. It has like minerals and nutrients to just really help give that shine to your hair so that's another option if you don't have like oily scalp or anything so now let's get into makeup products I have a few things here but I didn't want to show too much because I didn't want to overwhelm you with too many options so let's start off with base makeup so I have three like foundation skin tints here and I wanted to offer options that would work on different skin types of course I'm oily, but I've tried all different types of like skin tints and foundations. So the first one I want to recommend for sure is the One Size Beauty Turn Up The Base BB Cream Beauty Blur Balm. Now this is definitely great if you have oily skin. It does dry down to a full matte finish. It almost has a moussey powderiness to it. So I wouldn't say this is very good if you have dry skin. I'm not sure if it's great on normal skin, but if you're looking for a beauty balm that is great to keep you matte and like oil free and reduce shine and all that, this is a great product. I did do a wear test on this and it did so well on my oily skin. I'll show you guys up close. But this is a great option if you're just trying to find something to help you not get so shiny, especially that we're going into like the warm months. And then this product right here, which I think is great for 
all skin types. This is a more hydrating foundation, but this is from LYS. This is their Triple Fix Serum Foundation. So it also has skincare ingredients. I would say this is like a natural satin finish. So I think this will work if you have, you know, normal skin, oily skin, or dry skin. And you can just always pair it with products that work better for your skin type. So like the base that goes underneath the foundation. So this is what it looks like up close. They have a lot of shades. And this is a relatively affordable foundation when it comes to like Sephora's website and then the other one which is a lot more like lightweight it's a more like light to light medium coverage kind of foundation but this is the HD skin foundation from makeup forever which is a fairly new product and this is on the hydrating light very comfortable. I would say this is kind of more like a natural satin as well. And I feel like this could work on various skin types. So if you have oily skin like me, you can use this and just pair it with more like mattifying products. I have this on right now and I use my favorite like Versali primer that's great at oil balancing. I put like powder of course and set it with like a more mattifying setting spray. And it looks very beautiful and natural and healthy on the skin. It gives a good decent amount of coverage being a more lighter sheer foundation and it just sits beautiful on the skin. Then I wanted to recommend two different concealers. So this is going to go based on what you are looking for from your concealer. So there's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer, the Magic Touch, I think that's what it's called. This is really nice. It has a natural finish. It has medium coverage, but it sits beautifully on the eyes. It doesn't get weird or crepey or like sink into fine lines. It also powders really nicely if you like to set under your eyes. And if you just want more of like a natural coverage and look, this is a very good concealer. Then the next concealer is this one from One Size Beauty. This is the Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. Now I feel like this one has more coverage than the Anastasia one and it says it has like full coverage it's supposed to be long wearing I do feel like this also has a natural finish I don't feel like it's one of those like super dry down matte concealers like the uh, Tarte Shape Tape I do feel like this still has a natural finish it just has a little bit more coverage and I feel like it does really well if you have oily skin and I'm sure it would do well if you don't have oily skin as well so this is a really good concealer I love both of these I've tried so many and I think those two really stand out for me so the next products I wanted to mention are blushes so I have a cream option and a powder option so basically based on what you prefer to use for blush but the LYS this is the satin matte cream blushes these are so beautiful there's so many different shades very very creamy I'll show you guys like some of the shades that I have but they have lighter shades to a deeper shades both very like blendable easy to work with you can just like pick it up with your finger I'll show you guys so a lot comes up it has great pigmentation but you can share it out if you want like a lighter wash of color and you can just do that right there you see how it just kind of blends out and then it dries down to a true matte like powder finish and that is very important for me when it comes to cream blushes i hate having anything tacky on my cheeks i'm not one for that dewy sticky glowy cheek vibe i like mine to completely dry down so if you're looking for a cream product that actually has a matte finish these are great like look how easy that was and it dried fully down to like that soft matte finish so these are really good and then the powder blushes i think are so amazing are from pat mcgrath these are the blush trios i think you get the most for your money when you go with the trios because you also get a highlighter but the blushes in here are so pretty now of course you can pick up the blushes individually but i mean if you want more options it has two blushes and a highlighter this is the Divine Blush and Glow Trio in Galactic Sun. There is a deeper version, but the blushes are just so beautiful. Like they're very satin. They have a very natural sheen to them. Like this Desert Orchard one is one of my favorites. It's more of like a nudie beige shade, but they just have a really beautiful finish and they just blend right onto the skin. I love that the natural glow it gives you. You probably can't really see it. I didn't really swatch it very well. I actually have one of the blushes because the other one that I was gonna recommend is the Bridgerton option. This was their like, you know, collab with that Netflix show. This is the Love at First Blush palette. And this also, I mean, the quality is the same in these as the other palette that I showed you. But I have this blush on right here. This is the 
Nymphet, is that how you pronounce it? Oh, it's so beautiful. And I don't know how they got that like sheen to be in there because you look at it, you can't see any visual shimmer or anything, but there's just a light sheen that goes throughout the blushes. And then the last few things that I want to mention, I always recommend at least one Natasha Denona palette because her palettes are super pricey. They don't go on sale often. And if you can get 20% off or even 15% off, I think it's a good deal. But this is the retro palette. I think this is one of the best palettes from her. And this is full of like berries, mauves, like rosy tones. So of course you have to like these kind of shades, but it's very beautiful, very romantic. The like mattes are pigmented, blendable. The metallics are really pretty and shimmery. And there's just a lot of good options in here. I think you can go pretty neutral. You can go pretty light. You can go pretty deep with this too. And I thought the quality was excellent in here. And I did do like a review on this. If you want to see me create a like look and stuff with this, it's a really good one. And then the last product that I wanted to recommend is the Rare Beauty Mascara, which I've talked about this quite a bit on my channel. It's always the mascara. I use when I do makeup looks and usually the one I mentioned that I have on but this is really good at giving you volume and length and giving you somewhat of a false lash effect so if you don't like falsies and you're trying to get a mascara that will make your lashes a little bit more dramatic and full this is a really good option now I just have the travel size version but I did pick up another one and it has like a pretty thick brush kind of similar to like the um better than sex mascara from Too Faced this one doesn't like indent in the center it doesn't have too much of like an hourglass shape like that one does but it's really nice it's a little bit more of a wet formula so I think over time it gets easier to use but you have to be careful with it you know kind of shearing it out on like your face or something because it's a little wet so you got to give it time to dry down but besides that it will make your lashes look beautiful and dramatic. I also wanted to show you guys what I ended up picking up. I only picked up four items, which is really good for me because normally I overdo it on the sale and I end up picking up like 10 products. And I didn't want to do that this year. I am trying to buy less makeup. So I did get a few products from Rare Beauty. So I did repurchase the mascara from them which I don't even know if I told you guys the name. Does it even have a name? Well, the Rare Beauty Mascara, I picked up a new one. And then I also picked up the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer, which actually came out a few days ago. So to get a discount on a newly released product, I think is amazing. And I was just intrigued. Now this is not geared for my skin type. It says it's a radiant finish, but I've just been really into a skin tints and lighter weight, more lighter coverage kind of makeup. Like that's just been what I've been loving to wear. So I would definitely try that out on my channel and test it out and see how it works for me. I did also pick up the Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. This was so hard to get my hands on because it kept getting sold out. And right now, three of the shades are totally sold out. So I did pick up the Power Boost shade, which was described as like true tan with neutral undertones. I'm not sure if that will work for me. It did look a little light, but I was like, you know what? I just want to try it. And the other option that it had was the darkest one. So I'm just going to see how it works for me if I like the formula maybe I will eventually get a darker shade in case that one's too light and then the last product I did get was the Valentino Born in Roma Coral Fantasy Perfume which I think this is actually a new release as well and I tried this in the store the girl that was working there put some on me and I just fell in love with this scent and I was like this is going to be my like new summer scent but this one is fruity floral which is what I love I love fruits I love flowers and the keynotes to this one is kiwi jasmine and rose oh, it is so beautiful on the skin it is so juicy and fresh and on the sweeter side but not overly sweet so I'm so happy that I'm getting that one I fell in love and I waited for this sell so I could pick that one up so that is everything that I got and I'm very excited with the options that I went with and happy that I didn't overdo it and totally kill my wallet anyways guys that was everything that I wanted to talk about all my recommendations and what I picked up you guys will have to let me know in the comments below what are you going to pick up if you do plan to shop 
shop the sale? Was these recommendations helpful? Have you tried any of these products that I recommended? I would love to hear from all of y'all. And if you're new here and you enjoy this video and you love a lot of makeup stuff, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. Also, don't forget to check out the description below. I will link all the products that I talked about today, where you can find them, all at Sephora, obviously. Um, but just to make it easier, they will be linked below. Of course, I will also link my makeup as well, what I'm wearing, the products that I use, as well as my contact and social media platforms. Like I said in the beginning, I do have an Instagram. I am Breezy Lifestyle, I'm Breezy underscore beauty. So if you wanna check me out on my Instagrams, I would love that so much. But guys, thank you so much for being here, for watching this video, for supporting my channel, for hanging out with me for a little bit. I really appreciate it. But I hope you guys are all doing well wherever you are in the world. And I'm just sending you guys all so much light and love. But until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.